In order to obtain this rune, you will need to acquire 20 unique books that are scattered across Azeroth and turn them into Owen Thad in the Undercity. There are 13 books available from Phase 1 that you will need to acquire either before or after following this guide. I do have a video on that as well, which I will link in the description, as well as linking a pop-up that should appear here right now. There are 10 Phase 1 books for both factions, and 3 faction-specific books, of which I only cover the Horde version. This guide will show you the location of the 8 currently known Phase 2 books, which should be available to both factions. So you will either need 7 of these, plus all Phase 1 books, or 8 of them, and only 12 of the Phase 1 books in order to get this rune. The first book that we're going to look at is called Geomancy, The Stone Cold Truth, and it is located here at 3440 in the 1000 Needle Zone at the back of this tent on top of the plateau. You will have to find your way up here, so if you'd like to see the path, then starting at the Free Wind Post, you can head west and follow the road west until you reach the base of this pillar here at right around 3240. From here, loop around the pillar until you see this blue totem here marking the start of the path. After that, it's pretty straightforward to just head up the ramp and follow these bridges across the plateau tops. Keep in mind that there are some level 26 plus enemies up here that you will have to fight. But if you follow this path, then you should end up on this bridge facing the central totem at the largest plateau. From here, you just need to loop around the back and enter this tent, at which point you should find the scroll that you need on the ground off to the left, as shown here. Once the coast is clear, simply right-click on the scroll, wait for the cast to finish, and you will obtain the first of eight books, Geomancy, The Stone Cold Truth. Once again, located here at 3440. The next book is located here at 5721 in Dustwallow Marsh. It is called Roll, 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 and you can get it by looting the waterlogged book in the middle of this murloc camp. If you'd like to know how to get here, then starting from Brackenwall Village, I would run straight across to the road first. This will require going through some of the swamp, which has level 36 plus enemies, so do be careful. After that, simply keep following the road, keeping an eye out for the Theramore sentries as you go until you reach this point here at right about 5326. From here, it is a short, straightforward walk to this point where you can find the book. Again, be careful of the enemies as you cross the swamp until you see the murloc camp in the distance where you can find the scroll right here. This camp has murlocs in it that are at least level 35, so make sure the coast is clear, and then right-click the book, wait for the cast to finish, and obtain your book, which again is located here at 5721 in the Dustwallow Marsh Zone. The next book is called Demons and You, and it is located here at 5526 in the Desolus Zone inside of the Thunder Axe Fortress. Starting from anywhere outside the fortress, simply head up looking for the main entrance located here. And then make your way into the main structure, heading for the center room. You can head either left or right to get there. Just keep in mind that there are level 31 plus enemies and you may have to clear your way through. Once you find the central room, you can find the mysterious book located on a table here. Just remember to treat your enemies with respect and they will do the same to you. Once again, right click on the book, wait for the cast to finish, and you will obtain your Demons and You book. Which once again is located here at 5526 in the Desolus Zone inside of the Thunderaxe Fortress. The next book is called Basilisks, Should Petrification Be Feared, and it is located on this wooden bench just outside of the cave in the Stranglethorn Vale Zone here at 4151. I actually found this one a little bit tricky to find, but if you start here at 3749, just on the main road, you will see this sign for the Crystal Load Mine, which is your entry point to find the cave. I actually don't even know what level these basilisks are offhand, as they were sculled for me at level 32, so they were much too strong for me to defeat. But thankfully I was able to get far enough in before dying that I was able to just run back and then resurrect in a clear spot right next to the research notes. You can try this method or just come back at a higher level, but either way, right click the notes, wait for the cast to finish, and you will obtain your Basilisk's book here at 4151 in the Stranglethorn Vale Zone. The next book is located in the Alterac Mountains, and I actually found this one quite easy to get. If you start here at Terran Mill in Hillsbrad Foothills, you simply need to follow the road north for a little bit until you see this big tower here. From here, just make your way into the entrance of the tower. Just keep in mind there are level 36 plus brutes in this area that can be difficult to fight. 
but once you enter you should find the manual on this crate over here right click it and you will obtain your defensive magics 101 spell right here at 4858 in the Alterac mountain zone the next book is called a web of lies debunking myths and legends and it can be found in the arathi highland zone at 7465 just outside of this tent inside of the witherbark village you can arrive here however you'd like however this area is full of trolls in the low to mid level 30s so you may need to fight several of them to make your way back here but once you've located this tent up on the hill just make your way back here make sure that the coast is clear and go ahead and right click on the scrolls to obtain your book once again located just back here at 7465 The next book is located here at 6222 in the Swamp of Sorrows, and it is called A Luddite's Guide to Caring for Your Demonic Pet. However, before you're able to click on the book, you must first remove the cage with a rusted cage key, which can be obtained from defeating any of the Lost One enemies in this area. I happened to loot mine from a level 37 Lost One Hunter, which was only the second Lost One enemy that I defeated. However, I believe that they can drop from any type of lost one, and it may take more or less kills to get one. If you'd like to know how to get here, you can start at Stonard in the Swamp of Sorrows and run through the swamp. Just be careful as there are level 36 through 39 enemies in the swamp, which can be a little bit tricky to deal with. If for some reason you're having issues, you can always exit Stonard to the west and follow the road all the way around. Once you reach the main road, you can follow it straight to the village. Along the way, you may find some lower level lost ones that are a little bit easier to defeat if you'd like to try to get your key this way. Either way, keep following this main road to the east, which will lead you directly into the fallow camp. And when you get there, you should see the rusted cage right in the middle. Just be careful because the camp is full of level 38 enemies. Either way, once the coast is clear, as previously stated, right click on the cage with the rusted cage key in your inventory, wait for the cast to finish, at which point you can right click on the book, wait for the cast to finish, and obtain your Luddite's Guide. Here, at 6222, at the Fallow Camp in the Swamp of Sorrows. The final book that you will need is located here at 5741 in the Badland Zone, just down in a crypt. It is called Mummies, A Guide to the Unsavory Undead, and you can find it by right-clicking on the set of scrolls just to the left as you enter the crypt. It can be a little bit tricky to find the crypt. It is located on the mountain here, but there is a kind of secret passage to get there. Begin by approaching the mountain. Be sure to wave at fellow gamers of the opposite factions so that they know you're not a threat. It would be incredibly rude to gank them while they're drinking and waste their time. After rezzing and fixing your broken keyboard, you're going to need to head down and around the mountain, just past the explorer camp here. Start heading up this path, and remember to be friendly to your fellow players, because maybe they're having a bad day, or maybe they're an adult with a full-time job and a schedule and don't have a lot of time to play, and wasting their time would be a pretty rude thing to do. After repairing your mouse and monitor, you should find yourself here at 5645, right at the base of this path. It can be a little bit hard to see, but if you follow your way up through the cleft in the rocks, you should find the entrance to the crypt right here at 5741. And again, all that you will need to do is walk down the stairs, look slightly to the left, right-click on the scrolls, and you will obtain the final book needed to get this rune. Finally, you will need to head to the Undercity to the coordinates 7531 where you can find Owen Thad. You will have to speak with him and turn in each quest for each book individually. Each book will grant you a comprehension charm. If you've completed at least 12 of the Phase 1 books, then you can obtain your rune now. Either on the 8th turn in if you've completed 12, or on the 7th turn in if you've completed all 13. If not, remember that you can watch this video here to obtain up to 13 of the Phase 1 books. There are apparently at least two more data mined phase two books that were not included in this video as their locations are currently unknown. I may update this guide in the future when they are found so that you have choices between which books to go for to get the 20 total. Either way, once you've turned in your 20th book, a new quest called Greater Friend of the Library will appear. Simply click on it and click Complete Quest to obtain the Spell Power Rune directly into your Rune Engraving tab.
The spell power rune can be engraved onto your boot slot, and it grants you a passive ability, increasing the critical strike damage bonus of all spells by 50%. This is obviously an incredibly powerful passive ability for mages of all specs, especially for fire spec with the new hot streak spell, and I personally can't wait to try it out as an arcane healing mage. But that's all for this video. I hope that it helped you to obtain this powerful new rune. If it did, please consider leaving a thumbs up on this video to help other people find it, and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more guides like this in the future. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and have a good one. Peace.